they word it in a different way? It's to, it's, they don't word it in a different way. The verses are missing. No, no, really. It's because they actually talk. Read Acts 8:37. Okay. Read Acts 8:37. Acts 8:37. Acts 8:37. What's that going to do? What we're talking? Is it here? Huh? It isn't in here. You talk about the, the latest Bible. No, I'm saying the to you. Bible. No, yeah. I'm saying to you. In the NIV Bible, there is no Acts 8:37. In here. There is an Acts 8.37. Right. Now my question to you is this, is Acts 8.37 the word of God or not? Acts 8.37? Yes. It is the word of God, but this one doesn't contain it. Doesn't matter it contain it. So it's been removed from here. You don't have so you are intercourse. You said that's NLV, right? Yeah. What, what year? What do you mean, what year? It's been published in different years. What does that matter? Right. What does that matter? What does it matter? Do you know the difference between these two Bibles? Because the later Bible, people just take it out. Do you know the difference? Take out, take out the scripture. Do you know the difference between these two? Uh, sorry? Do you know the difference between these two? Yeah, the wording. But the context no. is the same. No. So you're saying that the word the is exactly the same as the NIV. What? The word the. The what? The ID. That's mentioned in KJ, the what? KJV. What about the KJV? No, what is the difference? Like, for example, why is this Bible different to this Bible? Why does this contain more verses than this verse, this book? Do you know or not? If you don't know, just say don't know. I know. It's a long, it's a long story. It's a very short story. Very short story. And in the last days, you see, pe people just take out the scriptures. So people can just remove the word of God at will. That's what he's saying. Yeah, they can. They can. I thought the word of these, these days they can. But I thought the word of God can't be changed. Sorry. I thought the word of God can't be changed. Oh, it can be changed. According, according to God's standards, no, it can't be changed. But it clearly says where it takes it out will be removed from the Book of Life. Right. And that's so, very serious because by the time you remove the scripture from that Bible, right, you're changing everything. Everything. Right. Of this so, so, or even you add to it. Right. right. So you know the difference or not? I do know the difference. Yeah. What's the difference? I, I just told you. You didn't. Why, why, why? Did I tell you the difference? Go on now, don't mind. Okay. This Bible here was translated from 6th century manuscripts. But the soul was available. So in 1611, King James Bible is born. Using 6th century manuscripts. Right, okay. In the 19th century, they find 4th century manuscripts. And when they measure those 4th century manuscripts against the KGB Bible, they realize there's verses in here that are not in the original manuscripts. So someone's added words to this. So what they do then, they bring a new Bible out. And what they do, they remove the things that were been added. So now you have a quandary. Is this book the word of God? Or is this one? Is this the one that's been changed and had the word of God? Uh, is this the one that has the word of God maintained? And this one's removed the word of God as the word of man? Or is this the book that's retained the word of man as the word of God? That's the question. Now, do you know the story of the adulterous woman? The adulterous woman? The woman caught in adultery. Yes, I have heard about it. What, what have you heard? Sorry? What have you heard? What have I heard? Oh, she committed adultery. Yeah. And Jesus is, you know... He, right. Wanted, and you can read that. I wanted to stone her. Right. And Jesus said to them, whoever did not commit sin before a stone her. Right? So what did, what did his people do? They dropped the stone. And Jesus said to her, look, go and sin no more. Did anyone condemn you? She said, no. Nor have I. Right, good. Right? So that's the So you know the story? Yeah. Okay. Story's not in the oldest manuscripts, Gospel of John. Is, is it a sixth century edition? Okay. Meaning, someone's added it into the Gospels, which John never wrote. So you say in the KJV, has been added. No, no, no. That story is in both of them. This one will tell you it, it, sh it shouldn't, it basically it's not in the oldest manuscripts. So the problem you've got now is you've got a Bible containing a verse in the Gospel of John which doesn't appear in the original manuscript of the Gospel of John. Fabrication. Okay. We can talk about this another week. If you're, if you're around.
but because you weren't aware of that, it would be nice if you went and reflected upon it. And then at least next time I come, we'll have something to talk about. Oh well, yeah, well it's been it's been a while when I looked at these. Well, uh, look at them. I mean, no, I mean like like people have taken scriptures away and then put can't, it in can't be the word of God then to suit themselves. Then it can't I'm be the not, word of God. I'm not saying it can't be. I'm not saying that. No, it can't be because you can't change the word of God, mate. If you can change a Bible, it ain't the word of God. Simple, because you can't change the word of God. It's been a pleasure. Anyway, take care. Take care. Thanks.